I'm Steve Skinner from Australasian Bus and Coach magazine and today we're looking at the H7170 Hyga Munro minibus. Now the H stands for Hyga, the 7 for 7 metres and the 170 for horsepower, 170 horsepower from the little 4 litre Cummins motor. And Hyga says it's made more than 200 improvements to this little bus so today we're going to check some of the main ones out. Now with us today is Brett Hunter and Brett's the technical project manager for WMC which is importing the Hyga into Australia. Now Brett, uh, thanks very much for your time. You're welcome. What was the process that led to all these improvements? Yeah, well we introduced the Munro in 2010 into the Australian market. Uh, we got feedback from the customers for about two years and then a partnership with Murray's Coaches uh, led to all these improvements. We increased the opening size of the luggage bin in the rear so it opens much higher and allows better access. We've improved the paint quality and the paint process completely from the factory so it's giving it a much more glossy appearance. We've improved the whole driver's area um, just from entering the vehicle, we improved the grab handle for him to grab onto and the entry step is much stronger. The driver's area has been upgraded with uh, locating the pedals in a better position for him so it's more comfortable driving position. The dash layout has been changed and updated so the switches are located in a more sensible location for the driver to, for easy operation. We moved all the service items to one location so the fuel filter and some of the other items are, are located in one area under the vehicle. Okay and last but not least of course the passengers. Now well, they benefit from the softer springs obviously so the ride is more comfortable. They benefit from the improved noise reduction from the engine cover so it's a quieter environment. We've installed reading lights for each passenger, individual reading lights. There's uh, better air conditioning control for each passenger as well. And we've improved the, basically the whole cabin ventilation is improved for passenger comfort. Today we've given the Munro a fair workout, probably longer than we're expecting to actually. On the freeway, uh, very good. It's up to 100 k's very quickly and no problems at all. It's got plenty of tow. Uh, the turning circle's quite good. The uh, transmission, is quite good on the whole. I'm not too much of a fuss pot, so aficionados might say that it needs to be smoother, but it, it seemed fine to me. The mirrors are a problem with this basic spec issue. Uh, they shake so much you, you can barely see out of them. So uh, I think you'd be mad not to go for the higher aftermarket option of the overhead mirrors. These standard seats uh, are quite good and uh, I don't know how they managed to fit two rows of two seats uh, with enough room just for a team of rugby union players if need be. The main issue I would have with the seats is that uh, I don't think they're high enough at the back for adults. So overall uh, obviously with a relatively low priced bus from China you don't expect too much. I've been pleasantly surprised.